Why is that a thing? What am I doing? Wait, <laughs> I don't need to use the mouse to turn the camera. <laughs> Everything is wrong. Are you doing the time woke? Drinking. <laughs> okay, well that's fine. Evie is bigger than all three of the evolutions. Combined. Do we have sensor module? Yeah. What are you making? Bomb. The lunch boxes. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so fat with lunch boxes. I hate being lunchbox fat. At least lunchbox fat sounds more legitimate than gun, gun fat. fat. <laughs> Unfortunately. Don't you think so, Xander? Bad. Oh, I probably have a missile launcher I need to put away. In my locker. <laughs> Absol Bibbins. Absol's a pretty cool <coughs> guy. It has a weird face and is cool. Yep, yeah, I have a missile launcher I don't need. It's a ring bringer. Where'd you get that? Wish. Wish. <laughs> Why do you have a badge of a, a pit of a pineapple? It came in the same package as the rainbow. Why? <laughs> and not only is it a pine bowl, pineapple, it's a pineapple that's looking at you. What? I don't know, it's got like an eye looking at you. <laughs> God damn it, wherever Wish is. And then Boston Terrier. He's cute. Iggy! What? Is there a Boston Terrier named Iggy that I don't know about? Yes. Well, I mean, probably in the universe there is. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's probably named a Boston Terrier Iggy. Most likely. Filled with any interesting technology lately? That's right! I modified the robot programs. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing. Tell me all about how it worked out. I'll be in there for the afternoon to say. Tell them about all the dip dabs. Yeah, not so say once I just did programming, the robots were no problem. Even after reprogramming them, they were kind of worthless. I just made the robots strong for a challenge. Really, the robots were inconsequential because my opponents were inconsequential, but I'm sure that if there were actual dangerous things in there, the, the Protectrons would have been fairly irrelevant. So do you want to do the intelligence one, then? I'd say either the, the first one or the intelligence one. Which do you prefer? The intelligence one is specialer. Okay, then do that. Well, they're only human. Or, uh, well, made by humans. Well, probably manufactured by other robots, but <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. They're only human schematics. Looks like a good thing to watch for when dealing with tech of any age. And it helps to bag a few pulse grenades. Oh, no! Here, have a <laughs> So that's the bonus, is pulse grenades? Yes. For some reason, I just oh, book on science! The computer part, but I've got the rest pretty much memorized. Hey, big book of science, that's good. Oh, we only have one thing left to do. Rivet City. Yep. Yes, Rivet City's in particular. It's the most successful survivor settlement around. But no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how Is it how the biggest city in the game? Succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some it's, research. It's one of those cities that's obnoxiously big. Is it like Vivek then? Oh, you never played Morrowind, never mind. <laughs> I played Pokemon uh, X and Y. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're almost the same game, right? And there's Lumio City, which is terrible. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the Everything real deal. is to the south right now. <laughs> she was just wanting you to be quiet, that's all. Oh, Rob Blue Jumpsuit, yeah. It gives you more repair in it. It's not very good. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, we can put it in our locker or our refrigerator. Yeah, I have some Ant Queen pheromones. You always wanted some of those, I'm sure. What do they do? Is it just a drug? Yeah. Here, have some blood! How much blood did you have? Four bloods. <laughs> How many crypts did you have? <laughs> None. Oh. Iguana bits. Iguana on a stick. These are also on a stick, so it's just whether or not you bit up, you made bits out of the iguana. They're functionally identical. Whiskey! Why are you keeping some? Does it make something? No, but she doesn't have enough money for all of it. Oh. 
good hunting. Yeah, but there is another place in town you can go sell things. The doctor? <laughs> well, there's also the doctor, but there's, oh, and there's also, also the, the cantina lady up by the front. Food! Don't steal from her fridge. It makes her sad. And she'll try and kill you. Or she'll run away and everyone else will try and kill you. So what's it going to be? What's on the menu? Bye. What's well, on the menu and then I give her stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like some cigarettes. I heard you have some food. Here, buy my stuff. Alrighty! No, don't sell the book of science. Is ant meat really good or is it just lightweight? I mean, it's, it's just regular food. Num nuts. Enjoy. Her name's Jennifer. And she said, R "Is your name Jennifer?" Mm, no. When I was a baby, and my parents thought I was going to be a girl, they had stuff made for me to be Jessica. Wait a minute. This is a knockoff Pokeball. Why? The thingy goes up instead of us staying with this part. What goes up? Oh. That's supposed to stay down on here. Oh, the I. Pokeball opens. The I Pokeball are. always this part opens. This is GS ball is a fake. He doesn't have it. It's a counterfeit. It doesn't even have a, a fake. It probably doesn't even have a fake Celebi in it. Well, it does say GS on it. Oh. Ow! Oh, did that really hurt? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's got a notch on it. I forgot. <laughs> sorry. It had this little thingy and it jabbed into his nose. Stream violence! And isn't the ball stay on the bottom too? I mean, the circle bit? That's what I'm saying. This oh, yeah. part stays and this part opens up. You killed my face and I'm dead! With the connecty notch of doom! Or at least of ouching the nose. <laughs> I forget what I was going to put away. You need to finish your thingy and bring it to my work and look at the papyrus while you're there. Take a picture of it. I did take a picture of it. Oh, then there we go. Yeah, but you should come look at it because you have to drop off the thingy anyway. Mm. I came in here for something. I can't remember what. Because I'm dead. It's bad against noses. It, no, it's, it was it's super effective. No, like it's bad I than screamed. It's yeah, you did. I felt really bad. <laughs> I was just trying to be silly. I didn't even think it could hurt that bad. But I forgot it has a little notchy oh, thing that'll jab right into you. <laughs> it's a breakdancing goose ball. So what? <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, so wait! You can just progressively come in here every once in a while. And get and then, water, yeah. And then increase your... Water? Your uh, karma. Why are you, oh to go yeah you can get like, five yeah. waters and then go take them to the guy and just well, yeah, increase I, your karma by five. I was increasing karma's no big deal. Keeping your karma good is easy. I mean I'm sure we're back at very good by now. I don't even know what we've done that's good. Oh no no we're just a good paladin. Oh. Wait does it deteriorate over time? No it's because we I accidentally killed that settler because I aggroed him by turning off his radio. Oh. <laughs> I turn off his radio and then he tries to kill me. It's bad. I was like, ah, oh, come here, music, me stop, and he's like, you must die. Are you dead? No, but it didn't catch me very well. Here to <laughs> oh, is this the yes. crap guy? No, he's the guy. He's the armor guy. Oh. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Here, have some drugs. Oh, yeah, that's the armor guy. You can get a leather outfit. Nope. It's, there's a leather. Here, have some outfit. squirrels. Some uh, of them are on sticks. Brahmin skin. Oh, outfit, that's right. I was gonna pull away my stealth voice because I have eleven of them. Basically, untanned leather. All right. I would buy a bunch of helmets to carry on to fix my helmet, but at this point, I can just buy, pay people to fix my stuff. Thanks. Thank. Stace. Stace. And this was the one that I was saying looks really cool. The luxury ball? Yeah. Yeah, Pokemon like it, and it looks nice. But they only like it at the start. After that, it doesn't really matter. Alright, Rivet City is over here. And there's nothing nearby. 
National Guard Depot. Is there any events at the Museum of History, or did you yes. even go in it? Uh, there's a lot of side quests I can do, actually, now. I, I feel I'm strong enough. At the museum? Like, all over the place. Oh, well, I know we have cur at least uh, three objectives at Rivet City, though. Yeah, that's why I said to do that one last. But there are a whole bunch of things different. along the way. Well, we can do them on the way there. Let's see. And by we, I mean you. Wait. As I sit here and make commentary and apparently... We should probably numbers. help out the people at Big Town who've had their friends captured for a few days now. Is that right on the way, or is that a different Warpy McWarperton? It's nowhere in the world. <laughs> it's in Big Town, which we can quick travel to. No! This presents a big town. <laughs> this presents a big town. Oh, uh, Villotic. Man, I want it. I want! P p tell Game Freak that. Zane! Tell Game Freak to. Do you mean Xander? No, Zane. Oh. Oh, hi, Zane. You should tell Game Freak to make Pokemon Fusion a thing in the actual games. Have fun with that. <laughs> oh, I can't move smoking ashtrays, they're too hot. <clears throat> No. What's so you know about the super mutants? Have you changed your mind? Are you going to rescue our friends? I've given up hope. It's so hard here in the wasteland. Not like when we were young. Yeah, growing up sucks. Do you know anything useful? My friends want to rescue themselves. I can't. Oh, well, we'll help. I'm feeling yeah. strong. They took them to the north. To the oh, that's a scary direction. Something. Do you think you could find them? Oh, that's them? out of the way. Well, the whole section is out of the way. Just do this one first. We're already talking about rescue. What is that? It's a rarity. With, n with no legs. So? It's spooky. It looks like a ghost. <laughs> I like how you said that. Ghost. Let's see. If they're alive, I'll rescue them. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. We don't have much. But if you can bring them back alive, we'll give you... Do we have to escort them? <laughs> well, the, we'll give you... I don't remember. Uh, we might need to save in advance when we get down there. I mean, I'm sure we can kill... So I know that there's someone you can rescue, and I'm sure you could kill them if you felt like it. Don't. Don't. What happened to the sky? It like, got dark twice. I, all, I changed what gun I was holding. I guess that that happens when you mess with your equipment. Sometimes the sky happens. See, it got dark like that, and then it warped back to bright really quick, and then got dark again. That's all oh. to do with you jumping. Okay. What? God damn it, oh. robot! You must die. Oops. Shoot you face. Oh, <laughs> I love the way he falls. Like, oh, I'm dead. I mean, I guess how a robot would fall, but... Isn't it odd we can be sympathetic to things that have no emotions? Robots? Yeah. I guess. Because I feel sad when you have to kill the robots. The robots weren't, like... They don't know better. They had no choice in being mean to you or not. They're insane. Basically. That's <laughs> because they don't go that way. But it's water. It'll make getting back up inconvenient and you'll get radiation from it. Hi. Ow. Why are you a jerk? Use your hunting rifle. No. There we go. Why is that? <laughs> Why? His head is much larger than the gun. <laughs> this game makes up numbers and they're funny sometimes. Oh, someone threw a grenade at me. Oh, now you can hit 23%. <laughs> but the gun is much harder to hit now. Yes.
I love how fast all that is. I'm gonna explode now. Oh, you throw a grenade. Yeah. This isn't working. Are you sure this is the best idea, old guy? <laughs> what? He likes taking an Uzi to the face. Oh. 